Part of the top story, crews have been working through the night to repair that broken water main, which flooded streets and homes in the neighborhood of Birdland. Now, it turned the Nightingale Way cul-de-sac into basically a water park. I mean, look at this. You can see knee deep in the water here for folks trying to get through. And these people, they just decided to use it as an opportunity for a little fun. Ten years reporter Hannah Mullins is live. She's been monitoring the progress of crews all night. Hannah, what's happening now? We've been waiting all morning for the water to be turned back on. And just a couple minutes ago, I shouted over to a worker, asked him if it was back on, and he gave me a thumbs up that that water is back on right now. But I want to show you something. Take a look at this street out here. You couldn't stand here yesterday without getting soaked, but these guys out here worked tirelessly all night to fix that. Now, it started off pretty fun yesterday. We saw kids grabbing their boogie boards and rafts, and they were relaxing in a cul-de-sac, which had turned into a community pool. People weren't the only ones, though, taking advantage of cool water on a warm day. Cars and homes were flooding, though, and the mess was only getting worse. Workers from the city of San Diego Public Utilities Department shut the water off and went to work, but that left residents without water and without a way to shower, brush their teeth, or wash their hands. Crews worked through the night, though, to replace that 64 year old cast iron pipe with new PVC piping. The city is in the middle of a nearly $600 million upgrade program to replace all cast iron water mains by 2017 to avoid messes like this one. Now, about 30 minutes ago, a school district employee came up and a city worker took off immediately. We are hearing there was water near one of the district warehouses, but out here again, the water is back on. It's a matter of cleaning this mess up this morning. We're live in Sarah Mesa, Hannah Mullins, 10 News. Thanks.